Figuring out which strings to put on your guitar isn't as difficult as it seems. I'm going to show you what I do to eliminate most of the guesswork. First thing you need to know is the scale length. That's the distance between the nut and the bridge of your guitar. You can either measure it yourself or look it up on your manufacturer's website. For me, it's 25.5 inches. The next thing you need to know is the strings that are currently on your guitar. For me, I have a set of 46 to 10s that I picked up at Walmart. The third thing we need to do is find a tuning with those strings that feels good to play. For me, it was C standard. The strings shouldn't be so tight that they hurt your fingers to play, but it also shouldn't be too loose to where there's no tuning stability. Once you know the scale length, the string gauge, and you found a tuning that feels good for you to play, we're gonna plug it into a string gauge calculator and use that to predict which strings we need. Once you've opened up the string gauge calculator, plug in the scale length, the tuning you like, the string gauge. You'll notice on the right the total tension will change as you mess with those variables, but we'll use that as a baseline. I'm gonna jump ahead and then come back after I've got that plugged in. Once you have your scale length, the string gauge, and the tuning put in, you'll notice the tension on the right changes. The tension that it shows if you did everything correctly is gonna be the tension per string that feels good for you to play and it's gonna be largely personal preference. Now, if you wanna change tunings, which is the most common reason people are asking about string gauge, I'll show you what you do. For me, I wanted to go from C standard to D standard. So what I'll do is I'll change the pitch or the tuning to D standard, and you'll notice on the right that the tension will change. I'm gonna jump ahead to after I change the pitch and we'll compare the tension before to after. Okay, you'll notice once I changed the tuning, the tension on the right went up. That tells me without having to tune my guitar, that most likely I'll need to change the strings because it's way too tight and I won't like it. So when you're trying to lower the string tension, you need to use thinner gauges. And when you're trying to increase string tension, you can use bigger gauges. If you noticed before, I was between 11 and 12 pounds and that was comfortable for me. But you'll notice with this new tuning, I range from 13 pounds all the way up to 16 pounds. So that's gonna be too tight. If I'm gonna lower the tension, I need to use thinner string gauges. And so I'm gonna go in one by one until I find something that puts it in that range that's comfortable for me. So for the first one that was 10, 14 is way too high. So let's drop it down to 9, 5. 12.8 is better, but remember mine was 11 to 12. So I'd like to stay in between if I can. We'll drop down to 9 and we got 11 and a half. That's perfect in the middle. For the 13, we're at 13 pounds. If I want to go down for the 1, 2, 5, we get the 12.4, which is still a little high. 11.4 with the 12 would be better. With 17, we have 14. 12.8 is acceptable. What if we go to down to 15. It's 11.3. That's better. Then we have 26 with a 15.9. If we go down to 24, that's going to be 13.2. That's still way too high. A 22 will be 11.1. That's a little low, but if I had to choose between the 22 and the 24, I'm going to go with the 22 for sure. 36, we have 16. 34 is 15. That's still too high. 32 is 13.5, way too high. 30 is 11.7. What if we do 28? Okay, 28 is going to drop it down to 10.3 and that's going to be too low. Stay with the 30 at 11.7. For the 46, 44 is 13, 42 is 12, 40 is 11.2. So that tells me right here without ever buying a pack of strings or touching anything that this set of strings would work. Once you've entered your tuning and then changed the string gauge so that your tension is similar, you can either buy them individually from StringJoy or just go to the company that that you prefer. For me in this example I used Daddario and with this string set it just happened to work out that Daddario had the exact set that I wanted so I put them on and it plays exactly the same as when I had the other set on there. There's no one size fits all approach for anything relating to music because at the end of the day it's mostly personal preference and if it sounds good it is good but maybe that'll get you where you're going quicker so that you can spend less time surfing the internet and more time playing which should be the end objective anyway. If you have any questions you can just leave a comment or shoot me a message over on Instagram. I'll answer it to the best of my ability and if you want to know more on how the scale length string gauge and tension all affect your tuning maybe i'll make a video in the future thanks for watching